Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome to another review. Today this review will be a Clone Wars review because this Saturday is the Clone Wars finale and probably the last episode of Clone Wars, which is pretty disappointing. So, I just thought that since it is the finale, I'll just do some Clone Wars figure reviews from my collection since the line is discontinued. Today we'll be taking a look at Kit Fisto, the 2010 version. Not the, I don't want to say the bad 2008 version, but the inferior Kit Fisto. And this guy just wreaks awesomeness. I don't have any packaging to show you, so we'll just go right into his accessories. Just throw the stand out. Uh, he does come with two lightsabers. He does come with his Padawan's lightsaber, Nadar Vebs, which just has some very nice sculpting work on it. Very cool, and Kit Fisto does have a very good grip to hold both of his lightsabers. He also come, Kit Fisto also does come with his trademark lightsaber, which is a very cool. I'll just re remove the lightsabers. Uh, there is some, but this figure is just amazing. It's outstanding, it's phenomenal, whatever you want to say, it's just amazing. I will compare it to the 2010 version, and I'll show you, I think, what parts they actually use. Obviously, this is the better one, but I think these figures do use the same upper torso. Not the head, because the head seems to be sculpted and painted differently. But I do think that they use the same upper torso, just repainted. This is more of a darker brown opposed to a lighter brown and I just want to see something. And the reason why it is a repack of the upper torso is that you can see that they both have peg holes which means on the 2010 version this kit fisto actually came with like this weird jetpack thing that you could put over the figure. And that's why he has the peg. So they just reused the super articulated upper torso. I'm not complaining that they repacked it. Uh, the upper torso because it is a phenomenal sculpt. With lots of articulation in the upper torso. The bottom half is completely new. They swapped out the pa plastic skirt with soft goods. So, he, so if you do have Kit Fisto's Jedi Starfighter. He can sit in there. Opposed to a plastic skirt. That gets you nowhere. <laughs> Another difference is that this guy uh, has different painted boots opposed to this one. This one is more darker brown. This is a lighter brown. And the most prominent difference is this guy actually has articulation in the knees and ankles. While this guy has no lower articulation, which pisses me off. That's why I basically got this figure. was for the update. So, pretty cool figure. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, the skin tones are repainted. Because this is has more accurate face sculpt to the show and everything. Kit Fisto is one of my favorite Jedi. So, I had to get him. And I'm planning to get every version of Kit Fisto. Including the Vintage Collection one. But he is very, very rare. And I don't think that I'll be finding him soon. He does have... A comlet sculpted onto his gauntlet. Does he have that trademark symbol? Yeah, he has his trademark symbol. And that's pretty much for this figure. So, should you buy him? Yes, you should. Uh, price range, uh, I would say $10 at the most you should pay for this guy. This guy is cool, but if. But just don't. Go ahead. just don't pay a lot of money for him because he is cool, but don't pay much money. I am also looking for that Navar Nadar Veb figure so I can pose with this guy. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.